All right, so moving on to our next story, we are talking about a statement made by Samantha Inoue Hart. Now, if you don't know who Samantha Inoue Hart is, perfectly fine. We've talked about her on the channel before, uh, both on the Twitch stream and, of course, on our YouTube channel as well. So she had made claims against Vic Manana not and there's a lot of uh, stuff going around uh, going on with Vic Mignogna right now uh, that he's been accused of some stuff that he has officially done that you could see you could just see a picture and you're like oh that's not a claim that's visual like confirmation uh, you can say whatever you want to about the accusations but in this case Samantha Inoue Hart has not accused Vic Mignogna of sexual harassment of any kind what she did do however we're going to give a little brief abridgment of what she had said she had said that Vic Mignogna had slept with one of her friends at a convention years ago this was consensual but it was done in a way where it was on her he convinced her to be on her bed and then she was not happy about that. And then the next day, he said that uh, he said that uh, or sorry, rather she said that he did like just walked right past her friend, did not give her the time of day. And then apparently that might be how she and her friend reunited, you know, over over that. Either way, regardless of what you, regardless of what you think about that, she should not be receiving death threats or harassment or anything along those lines. And according to her, she is getting just that now we covered this story in two different videos and you know two different times the first time was when she had alleged that this had happened however she used pictures of an earlier uh swatting or an earlier incident of an earlier break-in that happened years prior so when she did this when she did that people immediately called her out on it and said hey uh, you posted this on your Facebook account three years prior in 2016. What's going on here? And then the second time we covered it was when, thankfully, she had, uh, not she actually, but uh, the, the actual police department, specifically the Williamson County Sheriff's Department, actually sent a copy of what had happened over to Anime News Network. And then Anime News Network, Network had covered it, and then we chimed in as well and discussed it as well. But again, there was still this air of confusion because even though, yes, the police department did, you know, the sheriff's department did weigh in, so we're not going to say that that's false because that gets into really weird conspiracy terror territory, she still had not necessarily made a statement on why she released those earlier pictures. I believe she had mentioned to ANN that she did not have uh, pictures uh, that were not blurred out because they had the new pictures had the address right on the, the front of the house. But still, it was still a little odd to do something like that. And thankfully we, have, thankfully, we have a statement from her that we are going to read. And we will be showing some updated pictures of this right now. So, as you can see right here, uh, we have the statement up. If it's a little bit hard to read, don't worry. We're going to read it out right now, especially for those of you who are listening in uh, the, the audio version of the podcast. So, uh, and this is, even though she has made her account private, not private, but she has, I assume she has shut down her account yeah. You can still post from it because she did post. So I don't know if because she did it herself, she's able to turn it on and off because other posts from hers have since been considered deleted or gone. So I don't know how this is existing right now. I have to be very honest with you because I don't I never deactivated my Facebook account. But I guess you can do something like this if you need to. Anyway, so uh, apparently, according to her, the statement below has been reviewed by Williamson County uh, Sheriff's Department. So she says on the morning of February 18th, out of fear, passion panic, anger, and exasperation, I rashly rushed a private uh, a private post on my Facebook page about personal threats to me and a physical attack on my property before I had the necessary facts and photos. I inadvertently misled people and sincerely apologize for that. I want to offer my friends and fans a proper explanation of what actually happened now that I've had a chance to process it with law enforcement investigators who have no doubt that the man who has been making harassing phone calls to me faked a swatting on my rental property property so before we get into this clearly what she is saying is i have been harassed and the reason why and she she says that he faked it so you might be wondering why she uh reiterated that why she talked about that on social media and we'll get to that right now so she goes on to say since the beginning of february i have been receiving terrifying phone calls from an anonymous harasser who has been calling me several times a day he accused me incorrectly of being a high level employee of funimation 
blaming me for orchestrating Funimation's investigation of Vic Manana and for getting him fired. I would like to pause for a second just to laugh, not at her plight, but at the stupidity of humanity. Now, and by the way, that does include uh, us. We are included in humanity. So if you do a little bit of research, which clearly this asshole either didn't do or he did and he just wanted to threaten her, you could see that she is actually a very, very, very low-level voice actor who has actually not worked for Funimation in years. We covered that before. Not going to bring it up again, but you can literally just look up her name, Samantha Inoue-H-A-R-T if you can't see it on the screen right now. And you're going to see that she just voiced over a few roles. One of her biggest roles, I would even argue, even though I haven't seen the show, but I know the show is popular, is Fairy Tale, where she was literally in a handful of episodes. So to say that she is some high-level executive in Funimation is quite frankly hilarious. Now, let's continue on. She then goes on to say, I informed this man repeatedly that none of this was true. And then she even says, I've only ever been a contract voice actress for Funimation, but I'm not an employee and was merely one of many industry professionals they interviewed for their internal investigation. So this should also be noted as well. Yes, she was uh, interviewed for the internal investigation, but of course, some people in their infinite wisdom, as we've mentioned before, with other Vic Manana situations think that when someone says that they are a part of an internal investigation that they're actually running the whole shebang like no she is not running it she is simply someone that was interviewed and again because she was a contract voice actress who again has not been with Funimation for years now going on she kept on saying uh, she she went on to say but he kept calling so I tried to block his number but each time he would create a new number to call me with I want to pause just for a second to say that this person definitely has everything going right for them don't they have a lot to do in their life man they must be happy but going back to what she uh, had to say she then says, these calls drove me to deactivate my Facebook account on February 16th and again on February 18th because it became evident through our heated conversations that he was likely on my friends list on Facebook. Jesus H fucking Christ. That's me. Holy shit. Like the fact that that's coming from inside the house, like that's literally on her friends list. Dear God. So mm -hmm. she then goes on to say, um, at 7.56 a.m. on President's Day, February 18th, he called and said, you've been swatted. At first, I didn't take it seriously, but then I realized he might have meant a house that I rent out, which was swatted back in 2016. So, yes, we have been a little bit wrong with that. I believe in our original story, we accidentally conflated. Uh, we, we used her house and the house that she rents out, and we made them one and the same. Apologies to that. So in the second video, I'm pretty sure we confirmed that no, it was a house she rented out, not a house that she owns. So when she talks about the tenants, which she's about to right now, and in another a previous post, she talked about the family. She's referring to one that lives in that house that she rents out. So moving forward, she says, I tried calling the tenants but couldn't reach them, so I called a neighbor who happens to be a retired police officer and told him that I had just received a call saying that I had been swatted. I asked if he would check on the house. He agreed, so I waited while he took a look. When he got back on the phone, he told me that it looked as if a house had indeed been swatted. The front door was busted open. And then she says, and that's when I panicked. So last time, or the video before that, you and I were very confused as to why someone would immediately post on social media. And now it actually makes sense as someone who is being harassed like this, and then a comp gives her a, a somewhat faulty tip. And then she thinks, oh, well, I immediately have to post this because clearly someone who believes in, in uh, I Stand With Vic swatted my house. Now, again, that's not technically the truth. You could argue that he does, or this person who's harassing her does believe, uh, you know, and I stand with Vic, does uh, believe in shaming her, but he did not swat the house. Now, he may have vandalized it, right? but it was not an official swatting, and that's why the idea of a quote-unquote fake swat is coming up when it seemingly isn't the case, but it was a seemingly vandalism. Now, uh, Yeah, still yes. vandalism and property damage. Of course, of course, and something that clearly freaked her out because, again, right. this person has been making threats to her from right. her statement and from, again, the Williamson County Sheriff Department is clearly uh, corroborating this. And yeah. so, but anyway, moving forward, um, she then says, um, she then says, while I made my way to the rental 
rental home, I made a frantic string of calls trying to contact the police and the tenants. One local police department said that my address was technically out of their jurisdiction, so it couldn't have been them. Another stated that due to the house being... Oh, because of course, at this point, she's still thinking that it's a swatting. So she's like, what the hell? What do you mean? So anyway, so she goes on to state that another stated that due to the house being in their ETJ, which means extraterritorial jurisdiction or unincorporated land outside city limits with limited city services, uh, I would need to direct my calls to another police department. I was transferred from one office to the next. Calls were dropped. I'd go straight to voicemail, etc. It was a stressful mess. Every police representative I spoke to expressed symp sympathy for my uh, situation and apologized for what I was going through, but I was still left with more questions than answers. Had I really been swatted? And by which police or sheriff department? Because, yeah, at this point, she again, she's still thinking, oh, so I've been swatted, but why the hell is everyone giving me the runaround? Right. Um, when I arrived at the scene, the front door was wide open, battered with such force that the wood along the door frame was cracked. The damage to my door looked exactly like the damage that was done the first time I had been swatted in 2016. I checked to see if anything was stolen or further vandalized. The only damage seemed to be the door. The tenant, who I'd managed to reach, had taken off from work to come assess the damage with me. He took photos and showed me uh, showed them to me while he worked with my neighbor, the retired police officer, to re-secure the home. So I didn't bother taking any photos myself. However, I did not not personally receive these photos until later when I realized they too clearly identified the house. So then she says, meanwhile, my harasser called again, only to laugh when I picked up the phone and it pushed me over the edge. I made a mistake posting to my private Facebook page it, while in this highly emotional state. In my haste to alert my family and close friends privately to what had happened, I posted before I had all the facts or photos I could safely share. So I used old ones to illustrate the, ch the damage. In doing so, I inadvertently caused a ripple effect that undermined the struggles of Binyana sexual harassment victims. I am very sorry about this and the confusion my post cost. It was rushed and rash and not meant for public consumption. She says, for the record, I'm attaching the actual photos the tenant took of the damage, which have been edited to remove the details that identify the house, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. She then said, it was uh, it was not until the next day that law enforcement officially uh, officials finally confirmed to me that my rental ho home had not actually been swatted as I originally thought. They instead determined that it was a case of criminal mischief with property damage. The officer also explained explained on Thursday that I needed to file a separate police report regarding my harasser's calls at my local police department, she says, which I did, due to the harassment not being in the same jurisdiction. She says, let me be absolutely clear, I did not fake a swatting. My harasser did. There are now two separate police departments involved that I've been coordinating with to investigate him, and there's evidence that whoever broke into and damaged my property and continues to harass me, which are crimes is either among my Facebook friends or connected to one of them, which significantly narrows down the pool of suspects. Uh, she then says my Facebook page will therefore remain deactivated for the time being, as a detective advised me would be wise. I mean, tr yes, very true. And I would urge anyone with knowledge, interaction, or association with the harasser and vandalizer to contact the William County Sheriff's Department Criminal Investigations Division, which, by the way, if you guys uh, know that is, if you guys want to know, is 512-943-1313 or C ID at Wilco, W I L C O dot org. She says to do this sooner rather than later, as withholding any such information at this point could potentially make them a target of investigation and possibly criminally charged as an accessory. That's Thank you to everyone who has reached out and supported. And, and again, please accept my sincerest and humble apologies for my missteps in conveying what has been and continue to be an ordeal. Now, let's open up this picture right here. That is that is quite large, that picture. Uh, I, I need to make this smaller. Anyway, point being though, Tristan is uh, I want to know what you think about this before we before we move forward. Yeah, I mean, I I would probably stick to my previous statement in previous videos. Yeah, it was a mistake to go to social media, but again, she states here that she wanted to let her you know personal close friends and family know what was going on. Mm. She said it was done in haste. And obviously, like, yes, you're being harassed. Your house has been possibly broken into. Of course, anyone in that position would make a rash or, you know, a quick decision without maybe realizing the repercussions. And especially adding social media into that mix is just a recipe for disaster. Yes. So, no, I really feel for her in the sense that, you know, this is shitty that, that this, this is happening to her. You know, she... She shouldn't have gone on social media about it. 
but it wasn't I don't think it was her trying to make a personal attack against anyone else. It was just out of her feeling like she was being attacked. Exactly, so, yeah. Yeah. I I really hope whoever is behind this is caught. Um, yeah. And this, like, this kind of behavior is unacceptable at any means. I mean, obviously, yes. I, I think it's, you know, I think it's a situation where you have, by the way, you can see the damage right now. Um, which she's thankfully gotten rid of all of the, you know, all of the identifying elements. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's it's a thing where it's, you know, it's very frustrating because um, it's, you know, we've talked about this before, and I think there are people out there who just want to, they, they, they just assume that instead of someone making a mistake, and even if someone wants to call this person dumb, I wouldn't go that far, but if someone wants to call them dumb, Instead of them assuming something like that, they would rather want to believe that this is some entire huge conspiracy. Right. And that this is some entire orchestrated event by all of these powers that be. Instead of people just reacting, being people, people, overreact, not even overreacting necessarily, but doing, because she reacted appropriately, but obviously going on social media was the issue. Um, so, cause obviously I'm not going to tell her how to react to this because no, this is, right. that's bullshit, but she definitely should not have gone on social media. I think that anyone can say that, including her, as she just did. Right. Um, so I think the issue is, is that instead of people just thinking that someone made a mistake and was wrong, cause she was wrong. She's saying she was wrong. Hey, I should not have done that. Instead of doing something like that and potentially looking bad for doing so, she, uh, is looked at as this grand mastermind from people that it's just like, guys, just calm down. She's clearly not a grand mastermind if she's posting pictures like this. Like, you yeah. can't say that someone is the most powerful while also making the most mistakes. Like, it's it's not either someone is the all-powerful grand wizard or they're just the dude who trips over his own cloak. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's it, and in this case, she's someone it's, who... Yes, she's the mastermind behind all of it and yeah. yet still got her front door broken down. Like, well, no, not that. No, 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 not that. More so that she's the grandmaster, but accidentally leaked the wrong pictures or something like that. Like, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, in, in certain conspiracies and situations like this, someone is looked at as the most powerful, but then is also the weakest or the most foolish or something like. It's like, no, it's you can't say that someone's the most powerful and then consistently making mistakes like this. But either way, though, um, I want to hear. What you guys have to say down below. You can say anything you want to down below. You know, we're going to talk to you down below regardless, but either in the chat or on the YouTube channel. want to hear what you guys have to say about this. I would ask that you keep it respectful, but I, I'm asking. But uh, we'll see what happens there. Either way, though, I think at this point it, we can say that it's confirmed that something happened, right? It isn't completely made up because even if you want to say uh, something bad about ANN, and you want to say, oh, but ANN has made, uh, has you know, there's been problems with ANN's reporting before, Anime News Network's reporting before. They haven't outright lied. And yeah. anyone who says, no, but they have, no, they have not. If you want to show me evidence, you can down below in the comments. But as far as I've seen, ANN has made some missteps, but they have not outright lied. So at this point, what you're saying is ANN, the Williamson County Sheriff's Department, and Samantha Inouye, how, how deep does this shit go? If right. a sheriff's department is involved in this, and again, if you want to, if you want to call them and see what's up, you actually can. Literally, right there, it says it: five one two nine four three one three one three. So, if you want to be respectful and you want to be a sleuth about it, then the number's right there. So, either way, tell me what you guys think about all of this stuff down below.